Oh shit. I do remember fighting Hibu Fubuki in the past, that's right. I remember fighting Fubuki online like a couple years ago. Oh. You sure they didn't base Tusk off me? Uh, his nipple. His left nipple is mine. Uh, motion captured, scanned, digitized. Yeah, I was a nipple- I was a nipple capture for about two weeks before making the trailer. Okay. Recap? Weird. Remember when Conrad dominated the shit out of this game in Season 2? Holy fuck. It was a nightmare. He still is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, Arbiter's health bar with the shield really need. Damn, that was a very good call. That one does a shit ton of damage. Good call. Oh, of course he's uh, you definitely want to be mashing it there. Oh my god, he knew what was gonna happen. Music's amazing, dude. Yeah, every character in this game is very unique. Jesus. Damn. Whippy and zippy. Hit him with the, the stinger. If you get hit with the sting, you are slowed down. Until you hit them. Oh, he knew what was gonna happen, too! Couple shots. Shoot him in the face. Weird Sandman. Knock him away. Sand is still up. Oh my god, okay. That might be it. Yep, rock a man grab, dude. Does good damage. You will no longer need this. <laughs> this crazy ass con rock costume. <laughs> My Zerk killer playing Agonos. This is not an easy fight for Agonos, man. with a lot of defense until they can get a rock in, and getting a rock in is not easy. Oh god. Ugh! Oh no, it beat it! This is a dare- this is not an easy fight for Agnos, man. This shit is not easy. Is the set camera zoomed out because of how big Agonos is? Yes, there's uh, large characters in this game. Agonos is one of them. Uh, Idol is also one of them. They changed the, the camera. Camera gets panned out a little bit. The stage size is the same, though. Stage size is the same, but the camera is not. Ah! Ah! We're gonna win this on single hits alone, no combos, damn it. What the hell? He comboed into the forward dash? That was ridiculous. Jesus, that's tough. This is not an easy matchup. Overhead punch! Low! Just to wait on the rock to come back. Alright! One round down. Rock boy pissed. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the unfortunate situation of uh, Agonos versus Conra. You gotta make some very good reads. This is actually slightly in Agonos' favor? Jesus, really? When the hell did that change?
Yeah, Ram is Snowball the character. He's just gonna start, and that snowball is gonna go downhill, and it's gonna be the size of a goddamn mountain. And if you let that happen, it's the end. Stab! Poke! Jesus, that manual was cool looking. <gasps> Unblockable! Uppercut! Oh shit. Oh, he's got he's got the dank this, the snowball. Good break. Okay. Breaks get rid of it. Ooh, countered it. Big boy Rom. Oh god! He knocked the tree down! That charge up is really good. Ah! Oh god, the ram snowball! That might be it. No? Jesus! That is such a hard counter. Oh my god. That is such a hard counter for Tusk's normals. You can just charge, eat it, and then go forward? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I did a- I, there was like a 110% damage combo with Rom in one game. Jesus, man. It's, uh... He is nuts. He's a- he's a weird... He's a weird character. Yeah, that's the thing, is that, like, all- all General Rom is, all they had to work with- Oh, nice, Water Horses came in here. All they had to work with with General Rom was a dude that stabbed a guy. That was it. And- and a character that doesn't have much mobility, because obviously... General Rom doesn't do much in Gears of War. And they somehow made him into a fully insane command grab fighting game character that doesn't just stab- stab you. He stabs the shit out of you. Like, a lot. And then they took the Krill bats, yeah, they made- they made the Krill a big part of his game plan. That was like the snowball aspect of his game plan. Very cool. How good is Idol? Idol, I don't know how good he is now, but he was insane when he came out. Alright, here we go. I like this character select more than the old one. Damn! Hey, he ran into that. Legacy is putting some- putting some shit on the screen is what he's doing. There's particle effects everywhere. Yeah, that damn, that damn blade, dude. Forward MP is the establishment of Glacius. Damn, is that gonna hit? The hell? This might do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that's a solid 63%. Ow. Oh, just end it? There you go. Okay. Oh! Countered the unblockable! There's a funny story chat in uh, Season 1. There was a point where Glacius had, like, his, uh, his Puddle Punch, right? Where he would literally cast the thing, it would be an unblockable, and it- and it did this crazy, like, flowery ice design, right? And it would grab you, sort of whack at your feet. And I remember us, uh, this was bef way before the game was out. We were talking to the developers and we're like, It's weird that Glacius doesn't have his, uh, his, like, his, like, actual punch. Like, the actual, like, like, uppercut thing. He had that one. But he always had this other- this other move, and they ended up adding, like, the- the physical ice construct of another Glacius, like, punching upwards. Uh, a bit later, it ended up looking really damn cool. And then once it- once it dissipates, it just explodes into ice pieces. Very cool looking. Damn, music is going the fuck in right now. 
Oh, damn, that that cancel was nutty. Oh, the truck! Oh, Jesus! The hell! You can't run from fate. But you should have tried. Yeah, Thunder still does insane damage. Thunder does crazy damage. No one in KI plays similar to each other. Yeah, no character. Every character in KI plays dramatically different. That almost is like one of the difficult things about it. You can't you can't fake your way to being good in KI. You have to just learn all the matchups, you know? Like, in lots of fighting games nowadays, you can get away with doing some, like, really good thing a character can do. And it turns into, like, a single-player game. Like, I can fake being good in Guilty Gear by playing Leo a whole bunch. Uh, it's very hard to do that in Killer Instinct. Ooh, block the cross-up, holy shit. Ooh, late linker. Oh, he knew it was gonna happen. It was just a frame off. Oh, oh. Nice command grab. I uh, got the hell out of there, though. Shadow Jago with the hell of late manuals. Good lord. Nice. I like that. Damn. That aerial, uh, horizontal to angled fireball gave him a perfect opportunity to get in. I never thought about doing that. Holy shit! That was really far! You saw the reset. Oh god! He's trying to catch something. Still alive. He has to waste, uh, Shadow Jago's instinct. So he's gonna wait till the instinct's over. Okay. Nah, not everyone got an ultimate. The development kind of stopped. Storm is halfway around the world. Is he like in the UK or something like that? Oh god, the late. The late cancel. Oh, Storm's in Japan, really. Hut, 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 hut. Oh, that's badass. I need to steal that shit. Wow. Uh, gonna do Fireball Ender for the meter. Jeez, that was cool. I love that. Shadow Jago has some of the coolest looking combos in the whole game, man. Just doink, 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 doink. Ooh, didn't break heavy. Broke that, though. That's awesome looking. Broke on shadows twice. Uh oh. Very good call. The uh, Shadow Jago can pop it now. Oh god! That's death. That's death. Or not? No death. She had full... Oh, that's what it is. She had full bar. If you have full bar with her, that command grab eventually leads to a combo opener. Too late to get into KI? Well, it's not too late right now, just because... You're gonna run into people that are gonna be very good at the game. And you can't fake being good at KI. It will take a while for you to get good enough to fight people of this level, you know? But, there's so much to do in Killer Instinct as a game that... It's not too late to get into it all. Like... It costs 10 bucks if you buy it on Xbox or Windows 10. And there's still people playing online. You can still find people. Maybe not all the time, every day, anytime. But for a game that is now almost seven years old, or eight, uh, is about to be six years old. Yeah. There's still definitely, definitely a lot of people to play. And it's 10 bucks. I mean, it's free on Xbox Game Pass if you're subscribed to Game Pass. Like, literally free. What's the indicator for combo breaking? It's all visual. You need to you need to identify what things look like and then break them accordingly. Everything can be broken from light, medium to heavy. But you need to have the knowledge of the character you're fighting against to make that decision, much less to react to it. And some stuff isn't reactable. You have to make a guess. 
but the stuff you usually guess on is doesn't do as much damage. That's the beauty of KI, it's all risk reward. I can tell you what is a what is a what is a visual break and a guess every time I see a breaker. I'll I'll see if I'll see if I can explain it. So if I see a breaker, I'll tell you what was a, a really good guess or what was a visual a visual break. Jesus. Oh god. That's gonna hurt. So, he made a guess there. He thought he was gonna be doing a different uh linker, and it it was guessed wrong. That was a uh that was a guess. Guessed wrong. We went he broke really early. If you break really early at the person that's breakable, that was another good that was a good guess because <laughs> a few good guesses here. Because the visual parts are very distinct. And if you get broken at the beginning of it, it's it's like legit. It is a it is a guess between one and three. Now here's the gimmick. Oh, he's dead. Uh, actually, no, didn't have enough wrath. Here's here's the gimmick. If you make that guess that early in the combo and you guess wrong, what happens? You gonna you're gonna if they have meter, you're losing sixty percent. You if if you guess wrong, that that normal combo that someone would normally do like twenty to twenty five percent, okay. But if they if if you guess wrong that early and you just it just didn't happen. Now you're gonna lose twice as much health as a result. So that's a big ass part of it, man.